Hey, how you doing? Austin here with my buddy, Zach. Zach, how are you? Good, man. How are you? I am excellent. So in this video is something very important. We are going to unpack for you the Clear Crypto's strategic partnership with USFCR. And I want you to stick around to the end because Zach right there has got some really cool, interesting stuff that you haven't heard of that he's going to tell you at the end of the video. And what we're going to do for you in this video before we get to that is we're going to explain clearly what this strategic relationship and partnership, multi-year partnership, by the way, um, is with USFCR. All right. So with that said, let's get into this. And uh, so yesterday there was a major announcement. Clear Cryptos made a strategic partnership announcement, by the way, that took, uh, what was it, Zach, months and a long time. And these deals can sometimes take years to, to build, right? Yeah, hundred uh, percent. And you know, the one thing I will say real quick before we jump into this, you know, Clear doesn't announce things until they're happening. You know, so this partnership is live; it's ready to go. The customers are being offered this service now, so right. there aren't any promises here. And uh, yeah, so okay, so yeah, let's do this. Let's so let's break down real quickly what the, the, this this relationship. So USFCR is the U.S. Federal Contractor Registration. Say that really fast because it's really, really hard to do. Right. They have 3,000 customers. And what they do is USFCR. 300,000. 300,000. Thank you. There you go. They, so it's hard. You got all these facts in your brain. They have 300,000 customers and USFCR helps their 300,000 customers get and obtain government contracts. That's what they do. Okay. Yeah. And so, and in that inherently there's a problem. The problem is, is that in dealing with the government as one of these 300,000 co you know, contractors is that you have to prove that you've done the work. Uh, you sometimes might be waiting until a while to get paid, you know, to get paid for your services, all that kind of stuff. And that at the, at the, at the heart of it, right, Zach, and the core of it is the, is the relationship of what clear cryptos is stepping in with their blockchain technology to solve that issue. Right. Yep. hundred percent. And this, you know, this really signifies that, you know, we, we need to see a shift, right, for these Web2 companies to get into Web3, but in, we need to make it easy for these Web2 companies too, right? And to showcase the technology into their existing infrastructures the best way possible, and that's what's happening here. Right, right. So what Zach and I have done for you to help to help really kind of bring this home is we've created this document for you, and we're going to go through this uh, for you. So what this really is, and I thought this was a great quote. This quote, this quote came actually from the from the executive leadership of Clear, and they said, "Look, that this 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 partnership is really about the art of the possible and what is possible, right?" And and Zach said it earlier. It's about moving Web 2.0 companies into Web 3.0, and also the executive leadership of Clear has said, has said another thing that's think is very profound. Zach is that everything in our world today has to be reanimated for the blockchain. Right. Mm -hmm. And that's one of the stated mission, you know, mission critical paths that that clear cryptos is wanting to do. OK. And so you want to comment on this, you know, accelerating the ship for, for companies from Web 2 to Web 3. Just a quick note. I think you covered it. But I mean, similar to what we saw right back with the Internet, companies had to make that shift. Right. And I know you personally had, you know, uh, a company that made that shift to go yeah. online. Right. And there's a lot of hurdles there. There's a lot of unknowns, especially when it's a new technology. We're going through that now with, with, with crypto and blockchain. So, yeah. Uh, and I have to applaud, I, I have to applaud the leadership, you know, the president of Eric, uh, the president of USFCR and what would traditionally be a, a, a type of a business that would be very opposed to this stepping out and saying, no, we need to be one of the first to facilitate this process, right. To facilitate. Cause this is, again, I think that this is Eric, you know, the president of USFCR is seeing, a competitive advantage here, you know, and how he acquires customers and things of that nature. Right. Yeah. So there's a lot of, there's a lot of synergies there. So this is a big, this is a big point though. in the fact that this is the first of many strategic partnerships that clear cryptos is pursuing. And the point here is, is that, you know, clear is not your average, just project that's out there, you know, just doing normal kind of run of the mill stuff. No, they are, they, they very clearly have said, look, we want to go out and help businesses and, and different parts of the of the world and economies come into crypto, right? And this is an example of them going after, in my opinion, Zach, one of the hardest, one of the hardest sectors to go after is that's government, right? So they're tackling, in my opinion, one of the hardest by solving this issue with their blockchain tech, with this relationship with, with USFCR. 
Hundred percent, and this is really the first of its kind in DeFi too, Austin. We haven't seen DeFi companies really take this leap. You know, a lot of the um, a lot of the new tech companies in DeFi and things they're doing uh, right now are, are kind of insulated. They're kind of just inside DeFi. Yeah, there's not sure. a lot of companies reaching across the aisle and really saying, "Hey, let's let's fully integrate you into Web 3 It's mostly for companies who are already there, and hey, we've got this cool tool, and we could do this, right? Yeah. So this is this is this is a game changer in a multitude of ways. I that's a really great analogy. I think that most most crypto companies are not looking to use your word under, across the aisle. They're not looking at Web 2.0. They're looking at Web 3.0. Where can we carve out our thing and where, where we already are, right? 100%. And so, yeah, continuing with this document that we created for you to for, for you guys watching the video to kind of understand that. So here's what it really means to you as a clear crypto token holder and or somebody who's thinking about, you know, investing in, in CCX. Um, again, this video is not investing advice. Run it through your own due diligence. This is some scenarios that we've that we, we're, we're going to get into here in just a minute for you to kind of to lay out the impact of what this means. And to me, one of the biggest things of what this really comes down to is is the fact that the relationship that you, that that clear cryptos is put together with USFCR is where um, USFCR is going to help their 300,000 customers come into uh, the blockchain world. And the reason that those customers, those businesses, these are small, medium and large businesses. The reason that they will want to do this is because they will get paid faster. They will have audit trails all via blockchain technology. And it solves a fundamental problem for their businesses in dealing with the government. It's, Hey, wouldn't you wouldn't you want to be paid faster so that you can have that money faster to make strategic you know investments in labor or you know different parts of your business, right? You know, it shortens the it shortens the time frame to get their money. So that to me is the biggest thing. But for that company, one of these three hundred thousand customers of USFCR to take advantage of this, they have to become a CCX token holder. That's the crucial component. Okay, so I'm going to make this point, Zach, and then I'm going to throw it over to you. Is sure. that this is a biggie. If this introduces stability for the CCX token, and here's what it really comes down to, you will now have thousands and po potentially thousands and thousands of customers. And we got some scenarios below we're going to get into of small, medium and large businesses that will be holding CCX tokens, which will introduce stability. You'll have business holders and you'll have retail holders. And you and Isaac are examples of retail holders. So what do you want to add to that? What, what's, what's your opinion of what I just said? I agree with everything you just said. I'll take that that second point there, the secondary path of growth. And again, going back to the current companies in DeFi, a lot of them are not looking at the enterprise angle. They're looking at the retail side, yeah. right? So this carves out a completely different niche. And it, again, it doesn't abandon the retail side by any means. In fact, no, it just it strengthens the retail yeah. side. And we're going to get into that, I think, with some of these scenarios that we've laid well, out. I think it's this point, and I, I didn't cover this market condition. So this actually introduced stability for the retail, again, t CCX token holder, because you've got this massive core base of business holders. So what happens when we're, when, when we get into a bearish season or a crypto winter or whatever you want to call it, you have stability in the CCX token beholder holder base because you have all these businesses in addition to retail. Right. Okay, who so, are incentivized to hold the token absolutely. still because what happens is if you only have retail investors, everybody, you, we get, we, we know how it plays out, right? Everybody comes in together and everybody leaves together, mm -hmm. right? During the bear and bull markets. But let's talk about that. The businesses, the USFCR businesses who are, who step in and take advantage of this, who become token holders, why would they stay? Because they need to be token holders to be on the blockchain, to get paid faster, to have an audit, you know, all those things that solves problems for their business. They're not going to leave, yep. right? There's yep. no reason they're going to stay. In fact, probably expand their, maybe expand their CCX holdings because why they see the, the price of the token going up. They're like, Hey, this is pretty cool. You know, this could be a strategic investment for the business and et cetera. You know, and by the way, if you want another incentive on both sides of the aisle here, it's the rewards program that clear cryptos has put out there too. I mean, this has oh, yeah. been made public already. You get some great payouts twice a year by holding. So there's already that added incentive, right? And now this layered in uh, this ecosystem, just growing uh, a little by little here. And this is, this is obviously a, a big one. That should have been the golden nugget you had at the very end. That I know, I know. That I was know. a big one. All right. <laughs> it's good. All right. I, I thought about it too. So we're going to quickly, we're coming up on 10 minutes. We're going to quickly go through these scenarios. So these are hypothetical scenarios of what this means. Okay. I'm going to take the first one, Zach, you take the second year scenario. 
So here's what this scenario means. We know that USFCR has 300,000 current clients. By the way, current. By the way, this is not a stagnant number. You know, USFCR is always acquiring new customers. So this number will go up. So we're basically saying, hey, look, if 10% of these clients in the first year take advantage of the partnership and they become clear crypto token holders so that they can get into this program and take advantage for all the reasons we've already said. And by the way, let's just say they hold $200, $200 excuse me, of CCX. That equates to 30,000 new holders. Now, that's kind of a scenario. But what Zach and I've done is we're like, you know what? Let's be even more conservative. Let's pull back. Let's say that only 5% of that 300,000 client base jumps in. So now you have 15,000 new holders. Again, that stability of those enterprise, small, medium, large businesses that are token holders. We've talked about that. But it'll also contribute $3 million plus to the, to the clear crypto liquidity pool. So again, and this is not a stagnant number. That's just a real conservative estimate, a kind of a, hypoth you know, a hypothetical number. Zach, you take, I'm going to let you take uh, the second year here, right here. Yeah. And the reason why we're putting some numbers around it, just because, you know, we all like numbers. It, it helps us kind of understand kind of the magnitude of what's going on here. So hypothetically, again, here, two years into the partnership, let's just say a total of 20% of the USFCR clients are now taking advantage of the benefits. We'll keep that same 300,000 uh, customer number, which again, subject to go up. Yep. This would mean that roughly 60,000 new holders would be in the yeah. clear cryptos ecosystem holders. Those are holders and they're not going to go anywhere, right? Really? They're not because everything we've just said and millions and millions and millions of dollars added into clear cryptos liquidity pools. Okay. Yep. And so you can extrapolate that. Oh, go ahead. You want to yeah. go ahead, man. I mean, uh, let me take this one because you're going to wrap us up here just in a minute with uh, kind of so a few final thoughts. And again, we took it to year three and we just said, Hey, basically assuming that 40% of that stagnant number of 300,000, which by the way, at the end of three years is definitely probably most likely gone up. 120,000 new holders. Now, these are just kind of assumptive numbers. These are hypothetical scenarios, but these are reasonable. These are not out of the ordinary scenarios. So, Zach, I'm going to let you wrap it up for us, kind of have a few, few final thoughts. So, sure. take us home. Yeah, something you mentioned at the top, I want to reiterate. You know, these partnerships do not come out of thin air. These take months, sometimes even years to come to fruition. And Clear doesn't announce things that they're not, you know, that, that are going to happen. They don't say, hey, this is what's coming. This is what's, uh, you know, down the line. This is why, you know, and we've mentioned this in many videos, Austin, why Clear Cryptos doesn't have a roadmap, right? right. Because they may, they may have not have seen this problem come up. But I want to end it with this. Not only is this a game changer for Clear, it's a game changer for crypto. It's a game changer for DeFi. And it's a game changer for USFCR and their entire customer and client base. I'm looking forward to see what else CCX has. And I got to add one. It's a game changer to retail CCX token holders, right? 100%. Because we yeah. now have stability of all these enterprise business holders. And, and I think that's, again, when I saw this, when I saw this and I really understood this, what then, how, and when we unpack this, this, that to me was... I mean, everything else, yes, amazing. But that really is is something that I don't, I personally don't have never really seen before. So, so with that said, thank you for your time. Give it some thought. If you have not uh, looked at CCX, there's links in the description below to all things clear. Check them out. Run it through your own due diligence. And uh, we will see you later. Take care.